Hey guys, this is NES Shadows here. Um, two weeks ago, I went to the English Town Flea Market with two of my cousins, and um, we decided to buy a few things over there. And this video is all about what I bought over there, and I'll tell you what I got and for how much. English Town, the English Town Flea Market is located in New Jersey. Um, I don't know exactly where it is, like what town, but um, like it's a pretty big flea market. They had some good deals. Some people didn't give me that well of a deal so let's see first we got Ikari Warriors for the NES uh, this cost me two dollars I got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles also for the NES as you can see the cartridge all of them are really well like they work fine I tested them out on my NES um, also two dollars and I got Super Mario Bros Duck Hunt with the NES and without the NES with this uh, nice dust case and one of them came with the NES, so that one was technically free, and then this one was two dollars. Um, The Legend of Zelda, I actually always had. I bought it at a different flea market for a dollar, actually. And it's the gold one. It works very well. It's not scratch or anything. It works perfectly. This one was only a dollar, surprisingly. And I got Wrecking Crew for three dollars. And I don't know why it says Nancy. I guess that's the person that it was owned by but um I also got this and it was all of these were really good games they work fine so I'm really happy with that over here I got a Super Nintendo game I was ripped off when I bought this I got it for fifteen dollars the guy was really smart like I couldn't like lower the price at all like I kept negotiating but like I decided to buy it and kind of regretting a little bit but at least I have a game that actually works and it's good it's a nice game Yoshi's Island, and let's move this out of the way. I have two controllers right here. Um, both of them came with the NES system as well. The NES overall that came with Super Mario Bros. and the two controllers was supposed to be $35, but um, I got the guy to lower it to $30. Like, now that's obviously like an outrageous price for it because I would I would have settled that at least on like $15, like at the most. But sadly, there was that was the only NES in the entire flea market because like I like walked around like three times in a row, and like no NESs. I was there like almost the entire day, so since that was the only one, I decided to buy that one. Now here's the NES itself. It works fine. It came with the cables. They're connected to the TV, so I decided to disconnect the entire thing. It works perfectly fine. I still might need to clean a little bit more things, so then like it works perfectly. And they'll turn on like with just with ease. Yeah, and it's really light if that's what you're wondering, because like they made the top loader to so then that way it could show like how much it was, how small it was supposed to be. But I don't have that one yet. And I got this where I got the Legend of Zelda in that flea market. It was the NES Advantage. I got it for five dollars, I think. I think it was around that price. And basically, it's a turbo controller for the NES. It's that kind of peripheral, and the two giant. A and B buttons, the joystick, long plug with two players. It's really good. I played with this one. It works perfect. And now, um, uh, this Game Boy Color, it came with batteries and it came with a free game, Shrek. The lady was really nice and uh, she was like, she gave me this for $5 with the game and everything. It worked perfectly. It still works like right now. I still play it. I had a purple one before. I can't really find that, but um, when I show when I make my game collection video, hopefully I'll find it by then. And this one's a uh, like teal, turquoise kind of color. It's really nice, and everything works perfectly. Let's see. Um, I got these two at the same. Well, these three games. I got Super Mario Bros. Deluxe for two dollars. Super Mario Land for another two dollars, and this one was also two dollars. It's Tetris. All three games I really enjoyed. They're they're really good games. I, I recommend them. I haven't played Shrek to be honest yet because I'm not a huge fan of like Shrek. Like I watch the movies and stuff, but like the games like I never bother to play. So I'll check it out if anything. And all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just to recap what I have here. Just all right. Sorry about my room. It's a little messy. And this is what I bought at the English Town Flea Market. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is NES Shadow signing off.